Today I'm going to be doing a review and also showing a few modifications I did to the True Spec Gunny Backpack. There's several other reviews on YouTube that I saw. Some of them give them good credit, some not so good. I've been using it about two years. I think it's one of the best bags I've ever had. Before this I was using a Swiss Gear bag, which worked out great, but just didn't quite do what I wanted. I bought this one off Amazon. Um, I didn't really want it because of the tactical look. I wanted it because of the practicality in all the pockets. I'm really into organization and I really like that. That was what I was looking for in a bag. Like I said, it's made by True Spec. Uh, it's held up well. It looks brand new after two years. It's been to several countries, been on a lot of vacations with me. Uh, plus, every day I just throw it in the back of the vet truck. Works good. Uh, what I like about it, it's got a real nice grab handle here. It's also got a grab handle on each side. It does fit in an overhead carry on. Just pops up in there. Works great. Uh, it is large enough. You can carry several days worth of clothes if you're just going for a weekend trip or something. That works good. I take a lot of camera gear with me when I go somewhere, and that's one of the main reasons I got it because of all the room. Start on the back. It's got great straps. They're uh, really nice padded. It's got a nice padded back. It also comes with a belt strap, which I normally take off unless I have it loaded down with a lot of camera gear or something. I'm going to do a lot of walking. Uh, that just velcros right in. Slide it right through here. There's velcro there, velcro there. Holds it in place nice. There's some mollies on the side of this. If you want to put an additional pouch or something or accessories. And there's two little pockets on here, which are great. They're not big enough for much anything, but you can throw some batteries for a camera in there, stuff like that. Pack of gum, something like that. On the strap itself, there's some molly and two. I put over on this side, I put a just, just a Fenix flashlight. It's real nice if you're walking, getting dark. Shines right in front of you, about six, eight foot in front of you. You can also pull it off real quick. Have a little stunt snap that if I want to carry it. It's one of the modifications I made. Another modification I made is it came with black poles on all the all the zippers. I changed them over to red, a to give it a little contrast and b just to make it a little easier to find. One thing on the back of this bag is sort of a hidden compartment back here, which does go all the way through. Get to it from either side. I use that when I'm traveling. I put in my passport. Uh, I have a passport wallet, keep an extra credit card, stuff like that in there. It does have a chest strap. It does work out well, rather well. These straps here cinch down to size if you don't have it loaded up. You made it really compressed, really small. That works great. Like I said, it has a ton of pockets. There's a real big pocket here, pretty good size. Smaller one here, another big one here. Over on the other side, it's got two pockets. Also got some molly on it. I just put a couple of carabiners on it, hold some keys, whatever you need to do quick. It does have a hydration bladder. It has a little thing here for hydration to go through. I ran a USB cord through it in case I need to charge my batteries or something or my phone. Uh, just makes it easy to get to and I actually have a 10 foot cord on here so I can pull it out if I'm sitting train or in the car, I can pull it from the back seat up, whatever I need to do. The main compartment opens up real nice. There's some Velcro on the side here and that's where the battery for the cord goes. Hydration bladder would go down in here if you'd want to put one in it. The admin pouch is in this main compartment, which I'm not sure why they did that. It's kind of different. But there's room for your pants, pencils, three little zipper pouches, uh, place for notebooks, stuff like that. It does work out rather nice, but it's, it's usually on most backpacks, they put it down in one of the front compartments, which is a little easier to get to. I did add this extra pouch on the outside, just uh, when I'm traveling, I throw receipts, stuff like that in there. Just makes it a little easier, a little more convenient. There's another pouch here, because I have a key keeper here, business card holder, or ID holder, something like that. Fairly decent sized compartment. And the front compartment, again, has Molly on the front. This opens up, there's another zippered pocket. I added another key keeper here. And this here actually holds, it's made for DSLR batteries, but I use it to hold all the little stuff that normally get lost in a bag. Works good. But this is a fairly decent sized pocket and it works out good. I use that quite a bit. And in between the two, there's another zipper compartment. Zips all the way around. Lay it flat if you're going through the airport. I put some Velcro padding up here. Just put another little pocket up there. Hold some stuff. Put a little small for a face kit in there. 
There's a laptop compartment. It's padded on the back. It's not really padded on the front, but it does have Somali here for like its organization. You get that Somali pouches on here. Also has a nice big zip up pocket right here. Keep a raincoat, t-shirt, something like that in it. That's about it for the True Spec Gunny backpack. Uh, like I said, I've been using it a couple of years now. It's really held up well. Still looks almost brand new. Uh, I really highly recommend it. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up on the bottom. That really helps a lot. And have a good day, and I'll see you next week. Thank you.